Today is September the 14th, 2019. Uh, I learned a trick, uh, a very nice way, I think, that I have pretty well just gone to completely in putting uh, PL259s on this high-end coax. This is LMR400. I'm, I'm particularly fond of the LMR400 dB. It's got a sticky substance inside and, and it's supposed to be guaranteed to last 20 years buried or uh, out in the sun. And the El Paso sun is pretty brutal. So anything in the last 20 years, I'll be 90 years old by the time it needs to be replaced again, so I'm not going to worry about it. But anyway, I found out another way from watching a, a YouTube video of how to put these connectors on without having to try and solder the braid through these little holes. Anybody that does this it, it knows what I'm talking about. I mean, I've been doing this for a very long time. I've had a lot of success soldering through those little holes onto the braid. But it's kind of a hit and miss thing, you know, you go like, well, I don't want to melt the dielectric too much and whatever. But anyway, okay, let's do this. I think this is improved. This is the way I've been doing it lately. Don't, don't forget to put your connector on there first. Okay. And <clears throat> you can just kind of, you can look at it and see about where you need to cut it back to. You need to cut it back to about one and a half inches is, uh, is uh, what the uh, other good gentleman said, which would be right here. Okay, so I'm going to use a razor blade. This is the way I do it. And I just score it all the way around. I'm going to just show you what I do in the beginning and then and then do some of it so that the video, you know, just doesn't get ridiculously long while you sit here and watch me struggle. But uh, then I'm going to very carefully score it and uh, and pull that jacket off. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. Let me Let me get that done. Okay, now that I've got one and a half inches cut off, there you go. What I gotta do now <clears throat> is get this braid completely spread out and laid back over the outer shield, uh, not shield, but the outer plastic. So I'm gonna, it, it takes a while. So again, I'll stop it, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I have a big box of uh, all kind of dental tools and what have you. I'm going to very carefully spread all of this out, uh, separating it and laying it back, and then I'll show you when I get that done. Okay, I've got it all pretty well peeled back. I even used my pocket comb to, to comb it out and uh, get it as reasonably you can and just lay that, lay that back. Okay, now the next step is to leave about three-eighths of an inch right here. So if we get our thing and measure three-eighths of an inch, you can see where that's going to be. And I just use a, you know, eyeball it a little bit. And I just cut straight down into it all the way. And uh, hope I catch all this on camera. Hope you don't see me whack my finger really bad here. And um, um, once we get that just pull that off. There we go. Okay. Now with your best magnifying glasses and all that kind of stuff, I use a an eye loop thing right here. I'm gonna check that there's there's no slivers of metal that can short it. And I personally go around and and uh, trim it up just just to make sure, you know, because I, I do run full legal limit on most of my stuff, and I want to make sure that. Uh, I don't have some little, there you go, see that little piece right there was kind of loose. So I don't have some little flaky piece in there that's, that's ready to arc. And then once you get that done, herein kind of comes the hard part if you want to call it. What you got to do is you got to screw this thing over this braid and the, and the plastic. And you can do it, but it's not easy. Um, the other video that I watched, he put it in, uh, put it between two boards to clamp it. But I found out if I just put it in my vise and clamp it without squishing it, of course, you don't want to deform it. And you can see what's going to happen. It's going to screw down, actually a little further than that. It's going to actually screw down to about right there and see how we're going to have this much sticking out so you can solder. The only thing you got to solder is the tip. But it fits really tight. I mean, it is just, it is a dynamite good fit. I've got to screw this thing on. I'm pushing pushing on it hard 
and turning it and it's going to get too hard for me to do with my hand in just a minute like already so I'm going to firmly but not so much as to crush it clamp this in the vise and with pliers I'm going to turn this down until uh, I can see the end of the coax uh, past the holes so it's going to be right up to the uh, to, to this Teflon here and then we'll see let me move it over there okay I'll start turning here I know you don't want to watch every every twist that I make but um, I've got it firmly gripped in the vise and I'm just screwing it on and bumping the camera it takes a I mean, it only took like two or three minutes at the most to uh, to uh, spread all of the uh, the braid out you gotta pay attention but it's no big deal this is not hard to act. actually it's already there almost I don't know if you can see it in the camera but it's it's almost to uh, to the point right, right already so we can get up real close to it yeah see you can see the uh, the dielectric inside approaching it and uh, just a few more turns to bump the camera again my elbow and uh, there it is right there we're done just gotta solder the tip that's that is so easy and actually I found out that if you take you can actually screw this thing back off and and, and the uh, the braid will be undamaged that was a really important thing to me to find out because I, th I figured it might just be cutting it you know we might just be cutting it uh, the braid off and there wouldn't really be anything there but it's a it's a very good connection so there you go I learned it uh, uh, the gentleman's name was uh, well amateur radio station uh, kilowatt delta zero WTE KD zero WTE he's the one that published it posted it first on YouTube and I saw it and I said this is good and I've been doing it like this for quite some time now I'm actually in the process of putting up a hex beam <sighs> it's it's terrifying being up there on a ladder on top of the house and everything else but I haven't killed myself yet so thanks for watching and I hope this helps okay there it is I even put some shrink tubing on it I'm gonna do exactly the same thing for the other end you know it always makes you feel like a dummy when you don't do things in the right order fortunately I didn't I could get things out of order because I was gonna cut the end off put the shrink tubing on first put the sleeve on and then I'm gonna do exactly the same thing here and uh, I'll show you once again once you get it done, I'm about to twist it on there, just how easy it is. Remember, this first cut right here of the outer sleeve, this is one and a half inches right here. Now I'm going to lay all this back. Okay, now that all this is combed back, we cut off, we, we leave three-eighths of an inch from here to here. Three-eighths from there to the next cut, which would be, uh, again, it's not terribly critical. Be right there so let's just cut that off one more time here oh I love working with this coax this stuff is, this is just cat's meow I'm telling you for coax this LA Mark 400 look at that and then, like I say dress this up right here clean that up so you don't have any shorts okay I've twisted this one on just as easy you can see the uh, the dielectric all the way up. I'll trim all this off with some uh, really nice sharp little uh, diagonal cutters. Go all the way around it. Trim it up. Okay. I know. I don't want to drag this out too far, but look at there. Now that that's going to work. And not only that, you can actually still uh, salvage these. You can unsolder the tip and screw it back off, and and you don't have to throw your your peel 259 away and you know these things are not these things are not free when you get these silver plated ones and the gold and all that ho hoopla and lastly I might mention some of the new guys I think all the old guys know this all this uh, high-end coax has got has got foot markings on it see I don't know if you can read that it says 061342 if the camera will focus just right you can't read it 342 well, then you go down the coax if you go down to the other end right here you can read uh, 61 240 
240. So I know I've still got 102 feet, more than 102 feet right here in this coax. That's kind of nice, isn't it? 102 feet. And actually, I got about two feet more than that. You know, two or three feet more, but I still got over 100 feet of coax there. And that way you can know how much you got or how much you're cutting off. Or how, yeah, how much to cut when if you happen to know the real length. So um, you, you don't find that on all coax, but this is uh, Times uh, coax. This is Times Microwave coax made in the USA, and uh, it's called LMR 400 dB. It's even got dates on it. See, 210416. So you know how old it is and everything. Good stuff made in the USA. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.